Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to make a basic leveling system in Unity. So we can kill cubes, which awards us with XP's, which also increases our stats once our level actually increases. So as for the UI, we have a basic progress bar at the bottom. This is handled by the XP manager, which, ba which basically checks which level we are in, and then assigns the value for the maximum and minimum for the progress bar based on the level that we set and XP that we set and it also introduces the current value and sets it to our current XP level so this way when I kill a cube as you can see here this increases next up we've got enemy cubes which has an enemy class attached to them so here we can see that it has the XP amount and health uh, as baseline these are set uh, randomly on start so you can always change it to whatever values you have so for instance if you've got two types of enemies a zombie enemy and like a um, snake enemy for instance each one of these would have its own xp values and health that you'll set and then we also have the damage method here which basically applies the damage to the current enemy and then checks whether or not we killed it if that was the case we award ourselves with the xp so now that this has been done, we also have a player script, which is responsible for updating the stats that you see here. Uh, here we have a basic instance singleton pattern here with the baseline for the attack and health. So these are the actual values that we use when we have not progressed at all. So at level zero, this is what we use. And then avoid update we just show what stats we currently are based on our level here is the methods for the get attack and get health which basically applies whatever multiplier we have per level to our baseline values and then here is the small code snippet for the xp manager which handles for the attack and health multipliers it basically takes the increment per level and multiplies it by the current level so that's it so now that this has been done, let's go and take a deeper look at the XP Manager. So here is the XP Manager. We have a singleton pattern again here for the XP Manager called Instance. And then here we have the different XP levels that we can set in the editor, as well as the current XP, current level, and then the increments per level for the attack and health that we've seen earlier on the slider reference that we also saw as well as the name for the current player pref for the current xp and then we have a testing variable that we will omit in final production unit so this is the void awake which basically just adds whatever current xp we've saved to the player pref and initializes the whole thing and next up we have the void add xp which is static global so we can call it from any script here we increment the current xp and then we find what next uh, level we have so for instance let's say we were at level 9 our xp got incremented and now we have reached level 10 so technically the next level would be 11 however given that we have to manually set each level individually they will reach one level where we simply don't have any next level so for our case level 5 is the current maximum so there is no level 6 so then when I use find loss index I actually get minus 1 when we reach the limit and then here we have a boolean called inbounds which basically just checks whether or not we reached mm -hmm. that limit and if we did we just disable the progress bar and if we did not so then we just update the progress bar as we saw earlier and then we just save whatever level we have in the player press so before ending this video let's take a look at the x manager in unity so here we just add the basic xp targets that we have so for if i were to add a new one i can put 200 here and then we would have to reach 200 xp to reach level 5 
and you can just continue adding more here for instance 300 um, 500 and 650 or 660 and these we let we leave it as is the only thing that we can change is the attack per level and health increment per level uh, these again will be will increment the health and attack variable based on what level we are in so yeah so this actually marks the end of today's video if you guys liked the video please be sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already also if you've got any questions queries or suggestions do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below also huge thank you to all of you guys we reached 1000 subscribers a couple of days ago and this would not have been possible without you so big, big shout out to all of you on this note do watch my other videos i will have them linked uh, right after this outro and don't forget that this asset will be made available on unity, in unity so check the comment section and description for a link to that so yeah so on this note i'll see you guys next one bye